Kicks fam, it's your boy Big Maul back again with another review. Today we are reviewing these Jordan 5 Oregon or Apple Green as the internet wants to call them as far as how they sell them. We know them to be the Oregon. Not the Oregon Ducks. The Oregon Ducks were a PE player exclusive. These are SE. It's a nice play on trying to get that shoe out there uh, as far as that colorway goes. But I'm sure the reason Nike didn't introduce the Duck back on to the 5 is probably like legalities or something like that. I'm going to do something a little different. That's why I already have the shoe out. Boxes here and everything comes in this box with the branding and the pictures and the flight and all of that great stuff before we get into the review i want you to make sure that you go ahead if you're not subscribe to the channel down below like share click that bell notification make sure that you subscribe now that all that's out the way let's get into the shoe we're going to talk about some differences and some similarities of the pe organ and the Oregon 5 se or apple green we're going we're gonna to call them Oregon 5 as you can see i have up here the Oregon Duck Player exclusive that Nike came out with. Now this shoe right now it retails brand new, like dead stock for sure. It's like eight thousand dollars. It's most likely due to the fact it's supposed to be exclusive to players themselves. You have to know somebody who knows somebody who definitely knows the right person to get your hand on a pair of those, or you could flip the card and you know swipe it and you could get some. But for eight G's, I think I'm good. So I think that this is a great way to commemorate what they did there and give it to the general public. Cause getting your hands on a pair of PEs is, is insane. Or from the Oregon's to the Michigan's, it's just, it's not actually a thing that's gonna happen. Looking at the shoe, you have your Jordan Standard 5 and everybody knows five are not my favorite. But we're gonna get into these. We're gonna see if I actually like these. First look at them, I think that that color is vibrant. Like I said, I love green if you saw my Kobe review. Green is one of my colors, man. Geniuses choose green. So I really like this bright green color on this shoe. Now, starting with the sole. Now you have that clear sole, nothing, nothing different. You know, standard herringbone, clear, translucent sole with a jump man. And you have your Jordan written here. So all that is the same, nothing's different about that. I won't waste time on that. So getting into the midsole, air bubble on the back, back there. Coming up, you have your black polyurethane midsole, followed with your sharp teeth yellow, that Oregon yellow. Pretty much the entire midsole is that black color, and then you have here your little accent of yellow. Getting into the upper. Now the upper has that standard Jordan 5 netting. Nothing different about that. Of course you see the green. Now the green on this shoe is a little different from the green on the original Oregon Duck. I would say that this shoe is a little more bright, a little more vibrant. It may even show better in the light how the craftsmanship and the dye and everything that ha that's happening with this shoe. I think that's done well. I, I won't, I can't front on it. Like it's done extremely well compared to the original, right? Sometimes they, you try to do something based on original and it doesn't come out quite the way you want. That front toe there, if you can see, it actually has that OG going up instead of stopping like mid, like, like uh, a couple fives that came out this year did. But on the eyelet, that's something that's different on the eyelet. You have have your two here they're black on the Oregon Ducks they're green that's a pretty big difference it's a pretty big difference but it's it's all in the detail stitching is done extremely well on Oregon Ducks the top eyelid is, is black now on the tongue the tongue itself is reflective the difference is it has a Jordan and on the Oregon Ducks of course it has the O for Oregon now on the inside of the tongue it says elevate now on the Michigan Fives, I believe the inside said inspire. So maybe that's the slogan that the schools go by when they're playing, whatever, that's that's their thing. Or maybe uh, Nike is giving them a Jordan brand and Nike. 
they're giving them their own like word association with their shoe or the school. Now the inside has a yellow insole to round out that theme. And on the back, instead of the or instead of having the organ duck on the back, they have pretty much how in the 90s that labeling tag and it says Team Jumpman, Team Jordan. And it says the quality products inspired by the greatest player ever. Right. So what I think of the shoe, I think the shoe is is done extremely well. It released and it had it had mixed reviews, I'm sure, because people are like, won't they just give us the shoe with the duck on the back? And it's like you have no idea like the legal aspects in that to mass produce a shoe based on the school like that. I'm sure a lot goes into it. Oh, I forgot. So on the the uh, lace lock. Right, so the lace lock on the Oregon Duck, I believe it's a little clearer than this one. This one has like a, a smoke clear lace lock, but the Jumpman on the inside of the lace lock is yellow. There's a Jumpman on the actual lace lock here. I believe that there is like two sides to this because if you kind of look at the sock lining here and even the tongue, it kind of has that textured look and feel, almost kind of like the Oregon duck wings. I'm sure they did that on purpose to give it that, give it a little extra something. The tongue on this one is a little thinner, like older, like fives or whatever. A lot of tongues are thick. A lot of the old Jordan fives are thick. These don't look as thick as the original Jordan fives, which is one of the main reasons I didn't like Jordan fives, because they always look like boats on your feet. I'm not into that. But this one, I think is a little slimmer, and it, I think it's done extremely well. The craftsmanship, I would say it's A1 on this. It looks pretty good to me. I swapped the laces, obviously. Okay, so let's get into that. I swapped the laces because I wanted to see what it looked like with yellow laces with that Oregon theme, and I think that's a winner. I think this is probably how the shoe should have come, but that's neither here nor there. The shoe retailed for $225. That's a lot for this Jordan 5. I think that price point is, it's a little high. I know why it's high, but if it is that high, they should have worked harder to put that duck on the back or the O on the front or something. They, they should have given it a little more push for 225. I think that the shoe is done well, but I don't think that it's 225 worthy. With that being said, I do appreciate the shoe. Out of 10 rating, I would give it, I'll give this shoe a cool eight. I really like this shoe. I got the shoe, I got the shoe, uh, I was able to get the shoe a while ago and everything, but the shoe itself is done so well. I think the shoe is gonna grow on a lot of people who had doubts about it, but the 225 is the, that price point is, I believe it's a little, it's a little high for a shoe that's not supposed to be a PE. It literally is a copy of a PE. They could call it apple green if they want. We all know. It's, it's Oregon. Depending on where you live, 225 is is like 247 or something like that. 242 uh, on your taxes. So you mix all that in. I still think the shoe is done well. I would have liked to seen a couple things differently for that price point. One being like maybe down here have like a little speckled look on the shark teeth. It's straight yellow clear pretty much nothing on it is is no speckle on it and that's just like little small details on the shoe i think the stitching is done extremely well they whoever stitched this they took their time on the machine or however they did it a lot of people are going to dislike the shoe love the shoe it just all depends on what you want. It's not hard to decide. This five is pretty dope. I might end up keeping these. Might end up keeping these fives, man, because you can't let, it's, it's gonna be hard. Like, cause I was gonna like, ah, oh, I'm gonna let this go. I'm not really a five person. I'm not really on the hype, but then I, I hold the shoe and I keep looking at it and I keep looking at it and I'm like, I don't know, man. This is a really, shoe has done extremely well. It's a good looking shoe. Y'all let me know down below if you like fives, if you like that lace swap, that lace swap is crazy, right? That's how they should have came. And for, and for 225, I should have had like four laces. I'm sorry. Like laces are like two to four dollars. I should have had like four laces. I really believe that that should have happened. They should have came with those yellow laces and it, it would have set it off. But of course, you know, you can, Go ahead and copy some yellow laces, or if you like, if you like it a little subtle on the, the tongue area, they come with black laces. To each his own. I think the yellow laces are fire. They contrast real well. You guys, let me know what you guys think of this shoe. If if you rocking with it, let me know. If you not, if you think that they should have gave us more, let me know. If you think that too high of a price to pay, let me know. And if you just feeling it, if you cop, let me know. Let me know down in the comments if you're able to 
cop this shoe. It sold out on sneakers. I watched how fast it sold out. I looked at it at nine o'clock. I stayed on it till 906. They were gone. All sizes. Somebody likes them. Yeah, this is the Oregon Jordan 5 SE slash Apple Green, a green apple. Yeah, we out of here, Kicks fam. We are ducks, and ducks fly together. That's right. And just when you think they're about to break apart, ducks, ducks fly, fly together. together. And when the wind blows hard and the sky is black, ducks fly together. And when the roosters are crowing and the cows are spinning circles in the pasture, Okay, uh, ducks, ducks fly together. And when everyone says it can't be done, ducks fly together. Now, new ducks and old ducks must unite under a new banner. And I thought perhaps something like this.